Jam. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you are having an amazing trading week. So today's awesome share is this template switcher script. It will work with your MetaTrader 4 platform and it's completely free to use with, with its full source code available. You can get it right here from my website. I'll share the link in the description box below. So let me just show you how it works really quickly. So because I'll just I... set these charts as styles so that we can easily see. Now I've already created three templates and I've named them template1.tpl2 and 3. So the template 1 it only has this moving average and template 2 right here this one has ADX and finally template 3 this one has this parabolic SAR. Now whenever we run this script it will keep some global variables to remember right here. So anything that starts with this abiroid template that's the global variable and it will remember which is the index position of the last template that it had set. So let me just delete it for now and let me tile these windows. Okay so whenever I run this script it will change all of these templates to the very first template that was set, set in, in the, the script, script right here. You can specify the list of your templates as comma separated values and you can even add spaces between the template names so that it's easier to read or you can just have them continuously. And another thing your template names can be anything you like uh, just make sure that these TPL files they are in your templates folder. So you can go to your data folder by clicking file open data folder and inside this there is a templates folder. So by default if you save a template it will go directly to that templates folder. So make sure these TPL files they are inside that folder and next variable you can either apply it to all charts or sometimes you might need to apply it only to a single chart. In that case you can set that to false and whatever the current chart is it will apply the template only to that. And another thing that you can do is just right click this script and go to set hotkey. And after that you can specify any key that you that you want to use and you can specify alt or control over here and then any key over here. So right now I have control plus T. So whenever I press control and T together, it will run this script. So I'll just close this and let me show you. So right now this is the first template. When I press control T, it will change it to the second template. I'll press it again and it will change it to the third one. Now let me just go over here, set this to false and after that I'll compile and I'll go back and right here now if I select this the first chart and if I press Control T it will only set the templates right here if I go over here to the second chart press Control T then it will cycle through the templates over here right here so just it will use this one and whenever we work on these individual charts in that case it will create separate global variables right here like this. So these three we have modified three charts which is why it has these three global variables with the chart ID and this global variable it will remember which template was last set in all the charts. So now even if this chart has this one and this chart has this if I set this back to true and compile. Now when I run it, it will go back to the very first template because uh, the global variable right now it was at 3. So all of these go back to the first one. 
So in case if you are using this script for multiple charts, then you can then you can use as many templates as you like over here and that this script will cycle through all of these templates. You don't really need to modify anything in the rest of the code, but if you need to change the global variable name, the prefix that it uses, in that case, just change this to something that you like. So yeah, that's it. I really hope you enjoy using this script. I won't be adding any new features to it, but let me know if you have any problems uh, using it. I'll definitely uh, be working on the bug fixes for this one. So yeah, check it out. And I really hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have an awesome day.